All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to rainbow this Vegeta right here. Uh, this, of course, is Vegeta after first leaving the Time Chamber uh, and completing his training, which unlocked, you know, the next grade of Super Saiyan, uh, like, sort of evolution or whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, the Super Vegeta form, right? Uh, so he is a free 100% unit. Uh, you are able to... Uh, get him to 100% for free uh, via the Cell Saga story events. Now, here's the thing. It's a little weird. I, I don't think we've ever had this before, where we've gotten one of these free uh, like rainbow units, and he does not yet awaken. Um, now, that is very clearly going to become a very big deal uh, moving forward, because, I mean, as we can see, you know, he's unawakened, but he is not on the pure Saiyan team. So what that tells us is he is for sure going to awaken into a combo card. Very likely Vegeta and Trunks, you know, since Trunks is a hybrid Saiyan. Um, I, I think something like Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks or Super Vegeta and Super Trunks is very, very possible and very likely. Um, I, I think it's definitely going to be cool. You know, going to be a nice uh, another free-to-play option for the Cell Saga category, which, you know, a lot of us are presuming is going to be coming at some point soon. So, uh, let's go ahead and test out what he's capable of doing. Um, again, I do think, you know, either Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks or Super Vegeta and Super Trunks, you know, kind of a combo card is what we can expect. Um, I would expect that the next sort of celebration... If it's not the 300 million download celebration, then after it for JP, um, I think the Cell Games story event probably will have a medal that will awaken this guy into whatever the next step of his, you know, sort of evolution is. So let's go ahead and hop into an event uh, and let's see how well our boy Vegeta can work um, on the Vegeta family team. All right, guys, so we are over here in an event, right? Now, looking at Vegeta, um, he does get 60% attack and defense at the start of turn. So, you know, he'll be reasonable with attack and defense for a free-to-play unit. Uh, I think, in particular, he's probably going to be very good for, you know, any future Prime battles. Uh, we have yet to get a physical Prime battle, so I do think we... I mean, we're due for one. I thought for sure Cell was going to be a physical Prime battle, but they decided to make him tech, which was definitely a little surprising. Um, one other thing about this Vegeta man is he does stack attack, which uh, I do find to be a little bit interesting there. Uh, we could have Tech Vegeta go first um, because he'll go ahead and give um, our boy Base Form Vegeta a little bit of extra attacking power. But uh, I, I do think it's pretty interesting um, that this Vegeta stacks attack, right? Uh, Dokkan is not scared these days to make every single unit they put out at least have some sort of value or some sort of role to fulfill. Um, you know, even free-to-play stacking units are definitely going to be very, very helpful. All right, so 600,000, that's that's not really as high as I would have liked to have seen, quite honestly. Um, the other thing, too, is because we don't know what this Vegeta is going to become, it is a little hard to recommend what you might want to do with his potential system as well. I was thinking about that, like, you know, potentially the way his card, like, you know, whatever card he ends up awakening to... Um, it could be possible that, you know, you might not be satisfied with whatever you make his hidden potential system. So do keep that in mind. Um, I would say, like, if you want to farm up all the orbs but not actually rainbow him right away, that probably is a good idea because, you know, again, who knows if, like, you know, even though it's a free-to-play unit, they could have guaranteed crits or something or guaranteed additionals or, like, something, something like that. So... You know, that might influence how you would want to build your uh, sort of hidden potential system for them. So, uh, I would recommend uh, for people to sort of keep that in mind. Um, about Like, there's no need to, like, hurry up and rainbow him right away. Uh, you know, farm up the copies of him, which, you know, is super easy to do. Uh, get all the potential system orbs that you need to, uh, and then go ahead and hop in. Uh, you, know, you know, after, go ahead and, like, actually rainbow him. Uh, once we know the full details around him, right? Because otherwise, again, you could be left with a situation where you're not satisfied uh, with how his potential system build is coming along. I decided to bring the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta too. Uh, just it's so funny, like, seeing him at, like, 200,000 defense at basically all times. Like, uh, he is just a very, very impressive unit. I'm actually going to have uh, Vegeta use his active skill right here. So we'll finish this Piccolo off in one round. Um, and then in the next rotation, 
We're going to have LRB Pan with her active skill. Uh, you know, Vegeta has gotten a couple of stacks of his super attack as well. So it's going to be a really good rotation um, to see what our boy is going to be able to do. Um, the base form Vegeta. Uh, if he's able to get above a million, that's really good. Let me take. I want to see what is his attack stat, Rainbow. 10,316. You know, that's not awful. Considering he has not awakened yet, it's very reasonable he could get up to 11,000 attack um, after he has his uh, awakening. And, you know, 11,000 attack, you know, maybe he'll have 80% attack and defense or 90% attack and defense. Probably not going to go much higher than that, but. I think he's going to be a, a really solid sort of card. Uh, definitely a very good card for, like, uh, Prime Battle events, for sure. Um, okay, so this will be the best rotation we'll see from this Vegeta. And obviously, because of the fact that he does stack attack, there is no, like, you know, limit to him. Like, you know, whatever number we get here, we could easily get a lot higher if we go to, like, you know, the Legendary Goku event and, you know, sort of stall for a while. But, like, you know, just sort of going through an event naturally... Well, I mean, this rotation, I guess, isn't very natural, but, you know, this is about the best I'm sure we'll be able to do for him. Uh, ooh, that's helpful. Double super attack from Blue Vegeta means uh, his super attack, the little extra modifier he gives, uh, that is now twice on Vegeta, so that's good. Along with, you know, for the couple of super attacks Vegeta's gotten, LRB Pan's active skill. Uh, and Vegeta gets up to 950,000. Not bad. Again, we for, we for sure... Uh, could get him above a million after he awakens uh, it's going to be super super easy to get him above a million um, especially you know just from the increases uh, like not only to his stats but also to the attack and defensive buff so uh, let me know what you guys think of this guy uh, I, it's always a good idea you know there's something more fun in the game than like rainbow units so I think you know Dokkan releasing a lot of these sort of free to play you know this guy could potentially easy A as well huh he could um, and then he could become Vegeta Family Category Support of 77% because, you know, we've gotten one of those STR Gogeta, Physical Second Form Frieza. Yeah, I, you know, I would not be shocked if he did, if this Vegeta, whatever he uh, awakens into, if he also gets an Extreme Z Awakening. That really could be possible. All right, so this is Completion of Intense Training Vegeta. Uh, his leader skill is the Vegeta Family Category, 1 key and 30% of stats. Again, after an Awakening, plus a potential EZA, which could happen, you know, we could see him get up to 77%, which would be very interesting. Uh, his super attack is the Big Bang Attack, which stacks attack and does extreme damage to the enemy. Uh, his passive skill, sticking to my word, is attack and defense 60% at the start of turn. Pretty good. Uh, his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, and Prepared for Battle. So he does have very good links for the Vegeta family team. So, you know, presumably this Vegeta and Trunks combo card uh, is going to be able to get the job done on this team, is going to be able to activate, you know, a lot of those links like Saiyan Pride and stuff like that. Because, you know, you look at a lot of the stronger Vegeta cards on the category have got Saiyan Pride. LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, LR Majin Vegeta has got it. Uh, the Int Super Vegeta has got it. Transforming Vegeta has it. Uh, you know, uh, the Physical Majin Vegeta's got it. Physical Scouter Vegeta has it. So, uh, Saiyan Pride is a very common link over there. And, you know, just getting one more unit with that link could be helpful. But, at the same time, I could potentially see Saiyan Pride get left off the card after Vegeta awakens into Vegeta and Trunks. So, uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh... Overall, I would say he's a he, he's a pretty decent card. Again, it is very difficult to judge him right now since we don't know what he's going to become. Uh, his 12Q multiplier is 130%, which is pretty bad, but he hasn't even awakened yet, right? And then finally, our boy Vegeta is on one category team and one team alone, and that is the Vegeta family category. That's how we know he's going to awaken into a combo card. Again, we've seen this before with LR, Kid Goku, and Arale. Why is Kid Goku not in the Pure Saiyan team? Well, it's because we know he's going to awaken into a combo card, and that is indeed exactly what happened. So, uh, Vegeta and Trunks is most definitely probably on its way unless it's gonna be like all the z fighters from the cell games or something but you know we'll see so let me know what you guys think of another free to play 100 unit with his own orbs i personally love it thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all
next time.